Why, hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dung, welcome to today's episode. I've done some more work here on the actual wheat farm. Uh, got the water channeler done last episode, but now I've actually gotten each of the individual rows done. I'm going to show you how they all work right now. Uh, so hopefully it all uh, does indeed work, so just come over here and put that down. Um, if I stand here, you should see all the water flow down between each of the in, uh, individual corridors. Um, when I come along here, you should also be able to see that none of the water drips down into uh, the actual channel. See? Yep, none of the water is overflowing. And I also got all of the uh, water underneath each of the half slabs done now, so uh, all of this should be well fertilized. Um, I just need to actually go through and, um, for, uh, like, till the land, and I also need to go around and get some more seeds. So, I need to go out and get some actual seed, because I believe I don't have, uh, too many actual seeds. I think I only have, like, a handful. I can go check, though. Um, but yeah, I just need to go out and gather some of that up now. Um, so I'm going to get myself a, um, hoe and get, uh, the seeds from around, uh, over there, just begin tilling things around there and just pick up seeds and then begin putting that into the farm. Uh, where do I keep that? Presumably this chest? Yes, I do. So I have 14 seeds. It's probably not remotely close to enough. Uh, but yeah, I can begin doing that now, so I will come back with you guys, um, and begin tilling and planting seeds. So, uh, be with you in a minute. Okay, so I've been going around and tilling ground. I've gone through about seven iron hoes now. I've been running around like a madman, and, uh, this is about as many seeds as I've gotten through that much tilling, and it doesn't look like I ain't getting anywhere, so, um... I do game plan. I'm just going to go through here and bone meal all of this. Uh, so that way it's all grown, and then I do a harvest. So theoretically, if I do this, um, I should get back the seeds I've done, plus a little extra, because I believe uh, wheat uh, typically drops at least enough for it to be replanted, and sometimes drops more than what was given. So if I go through here and bone meal all of it, then I should be able to come back through here and replant it. So that's what I'm going to do real quick, is I'm going to go through and bone meal all of this, and I'll be right back with you guys with a harvest. Okay, so I have now bone mealed all of the crops, so now it is time to do the very first harvest of this, so I can see what the yield is like, make sure that everything is working, See how long it takes for everything to accumulate. So, uh, here it goes. Hey. Okay, a lot of loss. Probably need to build that up. Like, that is a significant amount of loss. Yeah, a lot of this is getting pushed onto the side rail, so I need to 100% build those up. Um, so I might as well walk across them to try to pick up as much as I can. Uh, none got up on this wall, so I, I, I presumably will need to build it up, uh, about one block or so. Uh, looks like no seeds got put up here, so that's interesting. Uh, a lot of wheat falling out, it looks like. Come along here. Alright, and the final row over here. Lot, so much wheat, holy cow. Hopefully there's seed here. If there's not seed, then we're about to have an issue. Because, oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Uh, now, did I get any seed? I didn't pick up any seed. That's a problem. I'll let the last of it fall down here before I just go back and pick that up. Um, we'll also get to see if any of the, uh, soil gets trampled by the water here. I don't believe, uh, water tramples soil, but, uh, we'll see just in case it does. Um, and this last little wheat here is just getting its way pushed all the way down, so I'll probably make my way up there. It'll probably be 
uh, down to the trench by the time I do that. So come all the way up here, pick up the water. I'm having a sinking feeling in my gut that I may have just wasted a whole bunch of seeds and a whole bunch of iron. I am not seeing any seeds. Yep, that's those seeds. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. I might need to come up with a secondary solution. I mean, it's nice that I'm not getting any seeds, but at this current moment, I really, really require seeds. Um, so that's an issue. Uh, however, um, with that, uh, I can make some bread. Just heal up. <laughs> Probably been needing to do that for a while now. Hey, actually, let's spoil myself, make an extra bread. There we are. But now, uh, it looks like it's time to go get more seeds. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I want to figure out uh, how to do that. Did not know that was a thing that happened. Fascinating. The more you know, I guess. Oh, let's also, um, oh, I already took out the heart. Oh, man. But anyways, guys, I will be back here with you in a second for the next part. Okay, so new game plan. Got some more seeds. What am I going to do with this? Well, it should be pretty obvious by now. I'm going to plant this up, grow each of the wheat, and I want to prove that I'm not insane. Yeah, seed does drop. So seed doesn't drop from water. So what I have to do is break all that, place water here, that's not where I want that to be going, I want that here. That still doesn't quite help me. Um, I want that here. What? <laughs> okay, I don't want you there, I want you here. <laughs> you wouldn't be so picky about it. <laughs> There we go. Now I'll look in the trench. There we are. Now I can get those seeds that just fell down there. And then plant those and then bone meal those. And from there, I can replant everything. So what I have to do is, after everything's grown, come through here, break it all by hand. Then I can put down the water to collect it all. So, um, yeah, was not expecting, uh, that to be a thing I had to do, but I guess it's a thing I have to do, so, yeah, the more you know. Uh, but yeah, it looks like I already got my seeds back, uh, so plant that real quick. Did I get any extra? Yes, I did. I got one extra, it looks like. Amazing. I believe that's all of it. Nope, that's not all of it. <laughs> I got... Three extra, okay. So it looks like I'm going to be increasing by a 50% yield each time. Hopefully. I missed one of my things. There we go. Uh, and I'm out of bone meal. I need to go get more bone meal. But yeah, that's what I'm guessing I'm going to have to be doing. So I'm going to do that for a little while and then be back with you guys. Okay, so I have been bone mealing uh, all of this wheat. It wasn't going as quickly as I anticipated, and I went through uh, quite a few stacks of uh, bone meal, but I've been getting uh, some nice wheat from it, but uh, I've only been able to replant about one and a half of these aisles that I've uh, accidentally gone through. Well, but at, least, at least you learn. So, yeah, that's now something I have to begin looking out for, uh, sadly. But, uh, either way, um, that is now something I have to now continuously do. I, um, continuously do. I am running quite low on bones now. Like, it might actually begin being, uh, in my favor to begin AFKing a, uh, the mob spawner. Um, so I might have to begin... Doing that, haven't really AFK'd in this world too much yet, so might have to begin uh, doing that. Um, 
but also uh, I need these this wheat here to be growing naturally, so that way I can do a full harvest on it, like just pick it all up, put the water, have it all flow down into the center, because, yeah, it's, uh, this isn't as... The bone meal is uh, quite resource intensive, and I don't get very much seeds from it. Um, because you get as much seeds from bone mealing it as it growing naturally, so I might as well just wait it out. I like I don't see any point in uh, continuing to um, uh, like sit there and use resources to have it grow. I think I can just wait out the rest of that farm. There's enough seeds there I can comfortably do it. But with that said, I it still might be beneficial for me to begin uh, AFKing this farm. So, yeah. I pick up some of the things from this and you got three bones from it. See? It's doing great work. Um, in this entire time I've been talking, it's dropped three bones. Um, but yeah, also let me make some bread. Because I'm sure uh, someone's bothered by my health. <laughs> uh, and one more. There we go. Uh, but yeah, also let me chop down the trees real quick. But anyways, guys, um, I believe that is probably enough for today's episode. I know that I probably made uh, backwards progress today because uh, that little mishap I had with the seeds. But I uh, need to begin doing more off-camera stuff. I need to go mining. I need to mine wood, need to let the trees grow out, need to uh, AFK some more at the spawners, I want to let the grass grow, like there's a bunch of stuff I need to do off camera, so uh, I was sad I couldn't do too much on camera today, mainly focusing on uh, some of the farms so I could get resources for later stuff, because I still need, have a couple of farms I need to begin uh, making, especially around like the zombie spawner that I have, and um, other resources that I need to begin uh, grouping up or just optimizing better because I still haven't uh, fully set up what I want to do for the passive mobs. Uh, so probably going to begin setting that up next episode or so or I might be in doing the uh, zombie spawner. I might be a little preemptive being setting stuff up for the passive mob farms considering how uh, there's no grass up there quite yet. But um, anyways, guys, I feel that is enough for today's episode, so, um, I, uh, I guess I'll see you guys next episode. Bye!